Hello and welcome to FDS. My name is Nate and I'm your host. Today we are going to talk about the GameGenic card layer. I should also mention this is actually the title of this is the Cards Layer 400 Plus Convertible. Mention that right up front before I go any further. What is the GameGenic card layer? It is a 400 plus card holder deck box thing. It has a removable lid with magnets with those little divity things so that way they can hold on tight. It has slots for oversized commander cards or other oversized cards that have been given out in Magic and I would imagine other collectible card games. Transformer collectible card game comes to mind. And or notepads. It has a tray and two drawers inside this section right over here and they are magnetized as well. It is covered in the GameGenic Nexofiber, or if you get the exclusive edition like this one, it is the Nexofiber Plus. I understand that this may not be a product that is for me, because I don't, I don't think it is, and I'll get into why. But first, I just wanted to address that thought. You know, it's a, it's a bit of a meme in the Magic community when people say this product isn't for you, because Wizards of the Coast likes to say that to people sometimes when a product is grossly overpriced, and they say, well, this product isn't for you. I don't mean it that way. I mean it that this is a functional item that meets particular needs, and I feel that I don't have many of those needs. It has some design quirks that I personally don't care for, or they seem to be trying to meet a need I don't have. Now, that being said, there are some additional concerns I have about this that go beyond just design quirks. But let's start off with those quirks. The first one is, I'll get this out of the way, I don't like the Nexofiber. I don't, I don't like it. You know how a ni really nice felt game table feels? This is trying to be that, and I and I don't think it it matches it. It also, with this Nexofiber, kind of creates this easily scarred thing that happens. Like you can you can probably see like right there that this came out of the box. This is what it looked like when I pulled it out of the box, and that doesn't seem like it can rub out. Like that's that's there. Not a fan of that. It's supposed to be a nice feel thing to it, so that way you feel nice and you can rub it and you can caress it. But I'm sorry, I, I, I don't want to caress this. I, I want to put cards in it. I will say, I like this. I like the, the shiny little thing in the middle, in, in the inside there. I think that's nice. Shiny little doomy. I like it. These slots for the oversized cards or notepad. If you play the Transformers collectible card game and you are looking for something to hold those cards, this is a fantastic option because I know that the Transformers collectible card game has those larger cards that are actually part of the game. So they are something that needs to be carried around. I could see that being useful to you. In Magic, that isn't a thing. Like there's the commander cards, but I've played a lot of Commander and I've never had an opponent use one of those oversized cards that you used to get in the old Commander products. And they don't make them anymore. The other thing is they're so thin. Like I can't get my finger in there. I originally thought that, hey, maybe I could put my markers in here and then I can just reach down and I can't, I can't reach down to get the marker. So that means that if I slip a marker down into there, I'm gonna need to get another marker or something else to pull it out. That's inconvenient. I don't like that. This piece, this, this little section here with the tray and the two drawers, I, I don't get it. Like I, I get dice trays, I, I understand dice trays, I get drawers, I, I understand those things. This is like putting a LED display on a blender. Why? This is my old man moment. I, I've, I've, I'll admit it. I've reached it. I just, I just don't understand what they were trying to do. They, they seem to be like, oh, let's, let's add some cool stuff in here that people may like. Let's make three counter things. Now, again, there could be a scenario where you may want to use these drawers, and, and that's great. For me, I would have preferred they just completely omit this and just make this section longer and frankly omit this. And part of the reason why I wish they had omitted this or had made the box a little bigger, you can't fit deck boxes in this. This is loose cards. This is for loose cards. I could see someone, they have a notepad. They wanna carry a notepad. They wanna carry oversized cards. Again, mention the Transformers CCG. They're fine with just having their decks in here loose and putting dividers between them. And, and they carry this and this is their deck box. They This holds all of their decks. There's one other quirk that I have to, I have to mention. The, the drawers here. 
they have magnets too. Yeah, they have nice little magnet things too. These don't flap out. These are hard in there. I could see a scenario where you would just want to maybe just open this and then kind of like reach in to try to get a token, but ah, I'm not fishing around for a D20 like this. I, I can imagine if you had a bunch of D20s rolling around in here and you wanted to get them out and you go to pull, like when you go to pull this, it opens. So if the D20, D20s come pouring out all over the place or whatever you got, you know, some people may say, oh, well, that's to keep them in while the drawers are in. This flap exists. Why not just make this a drawer? Just make this a full drawer. Why, why did we magnetize? It just kind of feels like they let Magneto loose in the design phase of this. It's got magnets here. It's got magnets here. It's got magnets here. You know, it's just, this thing is covered in freaking magnets. Now these can fit cards. These can fit cards. I need to be fair. And so does this too. So you could put cards all up through here. But again, I could see here are your transformer decks and here are your flesh and blood decks, you know, or something like that. I, I could see that being the case. And if, if that's you, then this is for you. This is a little weird. This does lead me to a couple of flaws. This, this part feels pretty solid. I'll give it that. It feels pretty solid. You know, there's, there's not a lot of give. You know, it feels well made. The cardboard is pretty thick. The, the Nexo fiber and the microfiber inside are good. This feels like a cheaply made flappy thingy. It gives, as you can see, I'm pushing this in very easily. It's not very well reinforced at the hinges here. I could see this being the problem down the line, especially with heavy use. All that being said, I do have praise for it. It holds cubamajigs. It won't hold regular deck boxes, but it will hold cubamajigs. This fits 20 cubamajigs. I think this is good for, like I mentioned before, if you're somebody who plays maybe a couple of different types of games, you don't have a lot of cards or a lot of decks for those games, and you just kind of want to keep all your stuff together. This is good for that. Another thing this could be for, this is your satellite box. So you have a big cube here at home that you get ready before game night, and you get a bunch of cubamajigs ready, and fill this up with cubamajigs, have your infinity the tokens in here, have your land station in here, and this is what you take to game night to play your cube. This can be your, your cube satellite box. But when it comes down to it, this is a pretty niche product that I think is trying to meet very specific needs. Personally, I don't like it. The quality issues make me a little nervous picking up the Game Genic Dungeon 1100 Plus, but I am gonna give it a chance because it's a different product and it's trying to meet a completely different need. So you're gonna have to kind of make your own decision and decide if this is something that you're going to want to pick up for yourself. That if it meets your needs, then maybe this is something you want to get. Or maybe you're like me and you see the quirks in it and you think, yeah, maybe not. Gotta have to make the decision for yourself. Click on that. This show is part of the CIP Network, inspiring creativity, one episode at a time.